Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking Avengers logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint or at least the A symbol from the Avengers logo. So the left one is an image, the right one is the creation done in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start in a blank presentation. I already have this logo in here and I will do the usual things like the format ribbon, colors drop down menu and I will set this uh, light gray preset just to make sure everything is a little bit faded, not getting in our way too much. I will zoom in to this right part of the letter and it seems to me that this should be or is just just a rectangle so i will insert a new shape being the rectangle so insert shapes rectangle and i will try to draw it in the size of this right side of the letter like this i will open the fill properties more fill colors and i will increase the transparency a little bit just so i can see what's below and i will also right click and select set as default shape which will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this fill and outline properties so whatever i draw drew now will be a little bit transparent I will try to examine the shape a little bit, maybe move it around with my arrow keys. And let's focus on this triangle in here. So seems like this is the ISOS class triangle, maybe. Let's try to draw it. Insert, shapes, ISOS class triangle. I will draw it with the shift key, rotate it by 90 degrees, holding the shift key on my keyboard and somehow try to position it, change the size. And you can see it's kind of hard to change the width of the shape and we have this uh, yellow handle in here so I will probably use those instead. You can see that once I align the top and bottom corners or edges it uh, seems like that the triangle itself is a little bit tilted so I will just move this yellow handle or orange handle down like this to match the shape perfectly. Then I will copy paste this shape and I, I need it one more time for this like outer shape so I will resize it, try to match it you can see it's also a little bit different so if I change it like this I still have to adjust the yellow handle a little bit that's kind of strange I would guess it should be the same it's not so I don't know why it is that way anyway I will continue with this left shape which is also a rectangle so I'll draw it like this position it using my arrow keys on the keyboard maybe make it like a little bit smaller to match the size then I will zoom out and I will try to trace this part. Now if I just draw a new rectangle you will see that it's probably not a, a true rect a true rotated rectangle because if I do it like this there are two things which are wrong. The one is this bottom part which we can of course just subtract. The other thing is that this right part it seems to be a little bit skewed. So if I zoom in I will tr first try to align those two corners up here. So that will be my start. The next step will be I will right click and select edit points and I will just simply move this point to kind of match this right side of the original logo like this. Of course I need one more rectangle which I will subtract later on. So I will insert a shapes a new rectangle. I will draw it like this. Align properly. And I guess I would need this uh, rectangle one more time for this like the offset. So I will copy paste it and make it or resize it to make it bigger to kind of fill this empty space in here like this okay so as for the shapes we got, we got a lot of them but we still we are still missing one and that's this the outer circle so i will insert a new shape being this sh uh, circle hello draw it like this align it to the outer part of the logo even bigger like this then i will adjust this yellow or orange handle to set the right size okay so again, we got a lot of different shapes. So what I will do is I will open the selection pane and I will start by hiding all those shapes, making sure that only some of them are visible. So let's start with this rectangle and this big triangle, which I will subtract. So I will select both of them, select format, merge shapes, subtract. Then I will select this triangle, this rectangle and this skewed rectangle. I will most likely first uh, add all those shapes together. So select them with the control key cat pressed. Select format merge shapes union. Now I need to subtract this bottom rectangle. So select this big shape and subtract this rectangle using the merge shapes subtract. And for the circle hollow, I will select the circle, the rectangle, and I need to subtract it, but only the bottom part. So I guess first I just uh, need to select uh, insert a new shape, new helper shape, maybe the rectangle, which I will subtract. So I will select a rectangle like this make sure that it covers the entire shape it doesn't so let's make it a little bit bigger then select this skewed rectangle the bigger rectangle 
subtract this, those two, select the circle and the skewed rectangle and subtract those two. And it's important the order of it in which you select those shapes. If I would if I would uh, first select the skewed rectangle, then the circle, and select uh, subtract, you know, you can see it's kind of different result than if I just uh, first select the circle, then the rectangle, and select merge shapes, subtract. This is what we want. So I will select this shape, the previous shape. I can still merge those together if I want. So I can select merge shapes union, and I have one big shape with the A logo from the or A letter from the Avengers logo. So I will select the image, select format reset picture. I know it's all black, so I can just select this shape, select format, set no outline, and shape fill to be black. I still have to set the transparency to zero percent. The other way how to do it would be to select the eyedropper tool and just to sample the black color from the original logo which will set the transparency to 0% automatically. Okay, and that's it. That's how you create the Avengers logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time. Thanks for watching.